new coffee tech break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. And I think I got another great video for you lined up because I want to take you through the Poly Lens Room app, which is available right now. And I will show you in this video uh, where you can find software, how to configure uh, the attached USB devices, look at certain settings, how you can do some software updates, etc. I'm going to walk that all through in this video. Now, before we get started with the installation of the Lens Room app, uh, let me take you a little bit through the basics. So the Lens Room app is supported on MTO Windows, and that can be a Windows 10 IoT or a Windows 11 IoT. Now, the devices that it can manage is listed uh, because it uh, doesn't support like all the devices. So you gotta make sure if you want to manage devices, uh, just check on the list of devices that are uh, supported. Uh, for example, Studio USB, the E70 camera, E60 camera, I think all those cameras, USB connected cameras, are mostly supported. But I always recommend it to check out the list uh, to find one of your devices is there. Now, most of the devices, it can actually see software version, you can see the MAC addresses or IP addresses, so you always have some additional information of the test devices. Now, what I will do in this video, and as usual, I will jump in my computer and I'll show you step by step through the process. So first off, where you can find the software, then I will install the software on the Teams Room uh, device and I will show you how you can add it to the lens portal using the pin code and show you what options are available. Now, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, again, I will put all the references in the comments uh, so you're able to make sure that you can find all that information. Now, let's jump in my computer now and walk you through that step-by-step -step setup. All right, let me first show you where you can find the software. So you need to go in into your lens portal web. There, the first location where you're able to find the lens room app is you go to software versions. Then you will find here a search field. Let me search for lens room, here you go, which is available now. And as you can see, uh, with a download 1511. So this is the version as of the release. Of course, there will be newer versions in uh, the upcoming months, but if you have installed it, it will automatically be updated using PolyLens. And of course, here there is a reference to the documentation. And on the documentation side, uh, you can find a lot of additional information. Uh, the Teams Room app that is supported on Windows. We got here that it's supported on Windows 10 and on Windows 11. And both of them are supported. The devices that are supported there, these are all mentioned in the, in the release notes. Uh, so the P15, the R30, the Studio USB, E70, X60, and the Poly V52, and the brand new all-in-one uh, USB bar. Touch controllers, GCA, TC10, and so you should be able to find like any USB devices connected. Eh? It should be able to give you a serial number or a version or IP addresses, etc. It will all be mentioned. And of course, there's a big list of features, but I will walk that through in this video. So this is the first location eh, where you can find software. The second location is by going to your tenant. Now, by going to your specific account settings, uh, you will find here on the left side, App Deployment. Here you find all the clients that are available, all the Lens clients, both on mobile, on the PC, on the Mac, for, for Google Chrome, uh, but also as you see now, this one is now also available, the Poly Lens Room app. So there's two locations where you can find software, and uh, you download it, put it on your USB stick, uh, and take it to the Teams room compute where you can install it. So let me show you that. Here you go. We are here now on the MTR on Windows and administration settings. So to install the Lens Room app, you need to go to the Windows setting underneath. So you click here under Windows settings. We log in as administrator. Of course, always a very secure password. 
So now let's jump into the administration set. Here we go. So now we're on the water and here we can install the lens room app. So under File Explorer, we go to Downloads. As you can see, I already downloaded uh, the, uh, the application package. So let me start the package. All right, welcome to the PolyLens room app. The install location, I will leave that default. And we're going to install. Here we go. We want to allow it, yes. Copying uh, the file, starting the service, because this is running as a service underwater. And so this is why you're always able to manage the devices attached to your MTR on Windows, uh, even if, when it's using just the Teams UI only. All right, let me start the application. Uh, yes. And here you go. We have now the application installed. The only thing you need to do is onboard it today using a pin. And so there will probably more onboard options, uh, but today the onboarding will go through pin. So I'll click on that. And this is generating a unique code. So now I need to use this code going to lens.poly.com. So let me copy that and go into the lens environment. We go to manage, we go to register device. We go here to onboarding air, so pin or QR onboarding, we go to register device. Now, what is important, you need to tick here, device is a PC based system. You need to tick that. Then you put the pin right here. Now we use here the domain coffee tech, that's all good. And what is the room name? This is coffee MTR W J C. All right, and we register device. Now let's look at back one. And as you can see, the MTR Windows now is successfully registered. Now you can find some troubleshooting information there. So if the device doesn't show up on your tenant, etc., so you can always check your tenant ID to see if it registers to the right one. Languages is only English uh, today. Uh, you can check out software version. You can check out about. And uh, so probably more information will be available there in the future. So here it ends concerning the MTR on Windows side. Uh, so here we can go back into the Teams UI. Now let's go back into the Lens Portal uh, and show you the Poly Lens Room Management part. All right, back into Poly Lens. Uh, so where can you find the Lens Room app uh, when you have installed it on a computer? So you go to Inventory. Now we search for device model. Let's search for the mini conference uh, PC. Uh, here you go. We got the device now, which says it is online. That's correct. So which devices are attached to my MTR window set? It's correct. It is an E70. GC8 as a controller and uh, Studio R30 and the lens room app which is installed. Now, if you want to dig deeper, you can see here all the default information now, uh, which is popped here up, but I can go deeper. Here you go. And now we got more information. So again, you will find here all the test devices. So for troubleshooting purposes, say you can find software versions, find serial numbers, you can go into the E70, for example, and now you can change tracking settings if needed. And so you can go to video controls, and here you can play now with the tracking options. And that is the same thing for the R30. So we go back to the conference PC, go all the way down, and here we see the Studio R30. So we can click on that, similar with the V52. Uh, we can go here to settings, and again, we can change here the uh, the anti-flicker, 50 to 60 hertz. We can change audio settings and turn acoustic fans on and off. Uh, video controls. So here we can also change tracking settings. So suddenly we have the possibility now to change the settings of attached devices to your NTR on Windows. But even if it's running in the Teams UI, and because this Lens Room app is running as a service under water. And of course, it's all certified there because otherwise the application will be removed by a defender, etc. So it's all uh, certified. So you're able to use this application safely 
on your Teams room windows. And in this case, using it on HP compute, but if you got any other computer, as long as it's Team certified and you use that with uh, yeah, HP Poly peripherals, uh, USB peripherals, you will be able to install that, uh, that applications. Now, one other thing which I wanted to show you is on the top right, you see here a button and that is restart. So you will be able to initiate a restart fairly quickly. So if you do this within like 10 to 20 seconds, say you can force a reboot. So I think this is also a very nice option. Now, I would expect a lot more features. Uh, this is the first phase with the Lens room app, uh, getting it out there, getting to play around with it, do it in inventory after the devices attached to your Teams room windows. But I think there's a lot of possibility here moving forward to, uh, to the future. And that's it. Just a quick video on the Poly Lens Room Software. Really exciting one. Finally gives you the possibility uh, to manage your USB devices uh, connected to your Teams Room windows. I think I actually did it within one coffee. Uh, showed you where to find the software how to install it, uh, so you sneak peek of the Poly Lens environment uh, to centrally manage those different devices. Uh, and I'm already looking forward uh, to, uh, to the next features uh, coming up on the Poly Lens Room applications. Now, I will put all the references uh, which I have in the comments, like the release notes, quick start guides, uh, everything that I have, I will make sure I put them in the comments. Now, Hopefully you uh, enjoyed uh, this video uh, and personally I'm already looking forward to see you back in the next